Hey guys, just want to give you an update on the old bike collection. I uh, got rid of a few, got some new ones, put a few things together. Uh, just take a gander and see what you think. Uh, this is my wife's old uh, Tri Country Squire Tri Wheeler, old Schwinn. Got the old Mongoose uh, Mad Max. I know. Lots of controversy around that one, but hey, I, I got one just to have it. Eh, a few skateboards. Uh, the bikes that I ride normally. Hey, a couple cruiser, old Schwinn cruisers. Pile of parts. And then we'll start over here. Got a 1983 Schwinn Predator. And this is the way it's set up now. Pretty good condition. It's got the old uh, Viscount seat. It's got the ACS hubs and um, V bars. It's got Diacomp brakes and the MX lever. <clears throat> and the one next to that is an 86 Diamondback Hot Streak. Color on the front forks is a little off, but they are the original forks. It's got the Diamondback stem. Need a front brake cable. Got a 1983 Lotus Cobra. That thing's in pretty good shape. It's got the original rims and uh, stem and V-bars. It's even got the original old, uh, like, winter circle type... Uh, grips. See to repop, but everything else on that is uh, in really good shape. Even rat trap pedals. Got a 1995 GT Performer. Fan mags. It's got uh, pretty much all original, except the brakes. I need to find some good Bulldog brakes, uh, some Diacomps or something. So we'll get that one set. Got a 1989 or 90 Interceptor. It's got the GT seat. It's got the uh, Odyssey uh, seat clamp brakes and uh, brake uh, lever. It's even got the GT stem. That thing is super nice. Got a 1994 Dino Air with the uh, purple haze color scheme. You can see that uh, spackle paint. It's in good shape. Decals are starting to see a little wear, but I put some new grips on it and, uh, and the purple chain just to kind of bring it out. It's also got the GT fan mags. Got a 1995 GT Mach 1. This thing is super clean. You can just see how that one uh, just jumps right out at you. It's got the original uh, GT tires. From way back, got the GT seat. Kid that had it before me had these reflectors on there. I just haven't got a chance to take them off yet. They're like battery operated. It's got the clear grips, everything with the GT under sticker underneath. Thing's super nice. Got a 1981 Mongoose Moto Mag. I just put this one together over our little stay at home stint that uh, we've been going through just got the stickers and decals yesterday so it's got a sr 420 stem it's got the old seat it's got some ame grips uh, it's got the mx uh, brake lever and it's got a diacomp rear brake we got the uh, red chain it's got the uh, super maxi three-piece crank Super nice, old Lester, old Lester rims from the same time period. And some KKT, uh, crazy cool KKT uh, pedals. They were pretty cool. Got a 1984 Mongoose Expert. This thing's super nice also. Uh, original decals, it's got the MS-423 uh, stem, 
It's got some AME grips also. It's so even got some Racing V bar handlebars. Um, super clean bike. Next to that, I got a 1979 Moto Mag with the uh, Moto Mag rims, Astabula front fork, and that's not the sticker one. That's the actual cool inlaid one that's been machined out. It's got the original pads, original type Pro Class type bars, the Octo grip grips. We got like a tough neck. Uh, seat stem and it's even got the old BMX seat uh, snowflake crank and the uh, rat trap pedals next to that we got a 1980 moto mag and that one has a set of uh, mag light rims and it's got the coaster brake and it's got an old uh, quilted seat. It's a repop, but it's got the uh, Astabula stem. It's got the old style grips on it, and it's even got an old bar pad. But not doesn't say Moto Mag or anything. But it looked cool. It was kind of like an original type. Next to that, I got another 1980 Moto Mag. I got the skin wall Kendas on there. It's got the uh, undrilled. Tange front fork. Um, it's got race ink bars. It's got the double stem, Mongoose Gold double stem. It's also got the Diacomp brake. Sugino, uh, not to Sugino, this is the Mongoose stamped uh, snowflake uh, crank and Astabula crank also and chain ring. You can see the race ink bars. And a set of uh, Repop Mongoose grips. Next to that, I got a 1986 Mongoose M1. And this thing's in really good condition. The pedals are kind of need changed out, but we'll get to that. It's got Skyway 2 Tufts. Uh, coaster, it's got the uh, freewheel. It's got some uh, cool uh, MX brakes. It's got an MX-1000 uh, stem, which I know wasn't original to this, but it seems to work. And some MX levers. It's got the Odyssey-type grips and an old uh, Viscount Dominator seat. Oh, back to the 1980. It has an awesome 1980 Alina seat on there also, which is really cool that it came with that. Next to that is a 1987 Mongoose Californian. This thing is really nice. It's got the MX Lachi MX brakes. Uh, it's got the Pro Class chain ring and Mongoose stamped crank. It's got the MX C clamp. It's got Pro Class 3 hardened anodized uh, Pro Class rims. This bike is one of my favorites. And next to that, I got a 1983 MX or Mongoose Californian. And that's another super nice one with the uh, Diacomp MX brakes. It's got the Pro Class bars. It's got a BMX seat. MX clamp. It's got Pro Class wheels. It's got a SR BMX chain ring with a Sugino uh, spider gear and a Chromo crank. And it also has these pedals, the SR 464s. Those things are like brand new and they were still in the box when I got them. So very nice. 1983 Diamondback Formula One. Lots of original parts on here still. It's got the uh, flip up hinged uh, stem. It's got the original forks. It's got the original Sugino Diamondback Turbo crank. Um, the wheels, I'm still looking for a set of uh, Araya 20 by 150s. 
Uh, see if I can find those. It's also got the uh, Diamondback SR seat clamp, which is rare. And you can tell that was the original headset because it still has the black, blacked out, a little bit of the blacked out uh, stuff they put on there. And an old Diamondback seat. Next to that, I have a 1983 600A Redline, and that has the Super Maxi uh, crank also. Super nice and uh, freewheel. This one has Arrayas on it right now, and it has a uh, Diacomp uh, MX brakes on it. It's got the Redline lightning bolt seat, um, Sagino stem, Sagino seat clamp, uh, just a nice representation from 1983. That bike is super light. And it's also got the uh, 468 SR pedals. And then a 1987 Hutch XL. And this thing is super nice also. It's been powder coated and uh, it's got a Peregrine compact disc. It's got a Trick Star seat. Trick top, I'm sorry. And it has the Skyway Skyway uh, Tough Twos, uh, has Lachi brakes. I think those were off of a Mongoose Decade, but, and the ACS rotor. Uh, just in the double, double bar handlebars. That one is a really cool bike. So that's about it. Uh, you can see, got a few extras down here. Just, uh, this is gonna be the uh, man cave, so, you know, gotta, bring back to childhood somehow. <clears throat> got the old Hasoy board. Got an old Volterra board that someone gave me. Just pieces and parts and my daughter's junk that you don't really want to see. And uh, that'll be it. Thanks, guys.